Tonight, Alabamians are wondering what's next for Jeff Sessions and if he'll return to state politics. His former U.S. Senate seat is coming up for election in 2020. Way 31's Cody Fisher is live in Huntsville getting some reaction from people about Sessions' sudden resignation and whether or not folks would support him if he ran for office again. Cody? Dan, I've been around Huntsville for the past three hours trying to talk to people about Jeff Sessions' resignation, and nobody wanted to go on camera. Some people didn't even know who Jeff Sessions was. Uh, some people didn't have an opinion about his resignation, and one woman even said she felt too defeated by yesterday's election results to talk on camera. Now, I did talk to one of Wade 31's political analysts about what uh, Sessions' resignation will Im mean for Alabama politics, and right now the answer is we just don't know because we don't know what what Sessions will do now. Now we do know that Sessions has over is is over 70 years old and has already spent nearly 20 years in the United States Senate. Now that same political analyst says there is one certain fact though. The Senate seat Sessions used to hold, which Doug Jones is currently occupying, is most definitely up for grabs for any Republican. Doug Jones is a one-termer. There's no question about it. So the question is who runs against him? If Jeff Sessions wants that seat, I don't know if he can get through a Republican primary because how much the president's run him down. Unless maybe the president comes down here and all of a sudden is like, hey, I love Jeff Sessions. Now, while Republicans are not, while Dale Jackson isn't uh, sure if Republican voters would support Sessions if he were to run for office again, we know that many prominent Republican politicians here in Alabama are coming out publicly uh, in support of Jeff Sessions at, in his resignation. Reporting live in Huntsville, Cody Fisher, Way 31 News.